Hi everyone! I'm Narumi, the park ranger from Nagoa Park. Uh, it's too bad I can't meet you guys, but instead I made this video to tell you guys about Nagoa Park. Uh, so, uh, have you guys ever been to Nagoa Park? I hear a big yes. Um, there is wooded area in this park, which is where I am now. To tell you the truth, uh, we found some problem going on in this area. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys about what's happening in this area. Let's check it out. This is one of the trees which has problem. You see the leaves of this tree have turned all brown. This tree is dead. I see some other dead trees around here. Now, let's think, why are these trees dead? Now, let's observe the tree closely. Look at the trunk. Can you see the white spot on the bark? This is wood dust, and there is tiny hole in the middle. These were made by the insect called Oak Ambrosia beetle. This beetle caused the trees to die. Oak Ambrosia beetle is a small beetle size about 5 millimeters. They live inside oak tree. Female carry fungi on its back. This fungi is a good food for the beetle's larva and also the reason why trees died. Now, let me tell you about life cycle of oak ambrosia beetle. In the summer, they come out of the tree for mating. They look for their new home, old and healthy oak tree. First, male dig a hole on the tree trunk. The wood dust, or frass, come out when digging holes. And then, they release a pheromone to attract female. After the mating, they get in the hole and lay eggs. At this point, fungi on female's back sticks to the wall of the hole. When the eggs hatch, fungi are grown enough for larva to eat. Larva pass the winter in the hole eating fungi and become adult. They come out of the hole in next summer. The fungi oak ambrosia beetle carry make oak tree unable to suck up water. In addition, Oak ambrosia beetle release pheromone, so if many beetles get attracted, it means large amount of fungi will get into the tree. It is called mass attack, and the tree which got the mass attack dies really quick. The outbreak of oak ambrosia beetles occurred last year, and this year uh, we found about 300 dead oak trees in Nogawa Park. And not only in this park, they are found in other nearby green areas like ICU, Musashino Park, and Sengeyama Park. Actually, they are widespread in Kanto area. So let's imagine, what kind of problems would occur if many oak trees in Nogawa Parks got dead? In the park, if the trees close to the path and trails die, they might drop the branches or maybe the whole tree would fall and it will lead to serious accidents. We are working hard to prevent the accidents like this. We mark the dead tree and counting the number to figure out how to improve the situation. We will be cutting them before summer when beetles come out. We also set traps to research the beetles. It's very important too to set a signboard to tell people what's happening. Same as this video. Because the oak ambrosia beetles can cause serious accidents in the park, doesn't mean they are bad creatures. There are some good things when the old trees die. Many creatures use dead trees for food, shelter, nest, and others. Thanks to the decomposers, dead trees can fall and become a soil. Another thing is, after a tree died and fell, Sunlight come in from the space where the tree was, and new sprouts and plants that like bright places can come out and grow. Regeneration of the forest is very natural and necessary. However, oak ambrosia beetles increase too much, and it's affecting the people's lives. 
and that's why it has become a big problem. It is thought that outbreak of oak ambrosia beetles occurred because of the changes in our lives and environment. In the past Japan, people cut the trees quite often to make firewood to burn the fire. The trees were cut before they grow big and there weren't many old trees that oak ambrosia beetles like. However, we've earned gas and electricity and people no longer cut the trees to use them. As a result, there are many old and big trees around here. In addition, it is thought that larvae which can survive the winter increased because of the global warming. Oak ambrosia beetles are creatures which play their part in the ecosystems. We can't just get rid of them. We have to coexist with them. So, what can we do to live together with oak ambrosia beetles? I believe you guys came up with various opinions. To solve the environmental issues, it's very important that each one of you think about what you can do and do what you can. If you come to Nogawa Park, you can actually see the dead oak trees with oak ambrosia beetles grass on it. Uh, you can also see the traps set on the trees. If you're interested, please come and see it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm glad if you guys could learn the, some interesting things about Nogawa Park's nature and some problems we have. If you have any questions or want to talk to the park rangers, feel free to come to the Nature Observation Center. We're always welcome. Thank you. Bye.